In this video, I'll show you an example of a roundabout. It is like a medium complex roundabout, I think, and uh, we are going to use dynamic assignment. So in this one, I just really try to show how you can uh, deal with the turning movements, lane choice, lane selections, and things like that. What I've done, I have built the roundabout, I have added the zones, I have added some sample uh, traffic to it, and I just try to show you first of the network for the connectors. <laughs> so the reason I do connectors the way I do is because I'm going to use edge closures to basically control how traffic moves. So as you can see, I have you I have set a node covering the whole roundabout all approaches and all the options let me just open the list of edges and if we just look at each of each approach you can see that i have for example two different connectors here and let me just undo the conflict areas and uh, priority rules so if you if you see i only use conflict areas here but all the others are priority rules <laughs> and if you look at how i set up the priority rules they are all upstream of the connectors so you basically need to set them up once and they will check here um, before they get onto the connectors this is because sometimes you can have connectors actually overlapping each other so you can have one here one here and you can also have two so there are connectors here. There are connectors here. There is a double there and a double there. So this is a good example. So the middle one is overlapping between the two. So that's why it is good to have the priority rule upstream. Here. So here it is a, I have still need to do. So it's good to have these overlapping so i just update the position so they are um, on each other otherwise what would happen is they uh, get through this one but then uh, they will stop for this but then if the condition for this still happens again it would be missed so the best is they have the same position so they will check for both again here i have a double one and a simple one and just a trick so as you can see there is an exit of two connectors there but i also place the connector here so traffic going out to that one and this way i can just control basically who goes where and again here i have two there and two here like that Okay, let me bring up the edges here. So now we can have a look and it will make sense. So I'm going to go and start closing edges. So this is, of course, they are all good. And once I got into the node, okay. So here, as you see, for U-turns, it makes no sense because if you U-turn, you are going to use this connector. So this is not, so I should close these ones. Again, this is wrong. So now this could be good because you see the other one is also bad. So if you come on this one in this lane, you shouldn't go out. You should carry on driving there. And here you see this tiny little connector again, that one, that is just basically there to direct traffic out, like spiral out to the um this lane to the outer one, curbside one. So let's just go and keep closing these edges and let's see how the model will operate. Because if I, let me just run the model before. So you see how bad it would, how unrealistically it would behave. <laughs> so you see vehicles got blocked up in the middle because they can't change lanes and, and they just can't, they will keep going way and they try to get the connector as you see there is another connector there 
so it's just not it's just not working and with these extra little connectors you can basically do the way you want so let's just keep going back to the edges and then <laughs> i can show you so this one is closed this one is closed this one So we are driving on that lane, so that will still take them out here. So they will need to change lane. Since the traffic from here, this U-turn traffic is zero, because I don't have anything in the demand. <laughs> but if I want to make this right, what I can do, I can just add another connector, basically from here to there. like that but I just need to make sure that uh, that is close for everyone else so okay so I'm coming back now so this is closed 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 so this one looks good because what happens vehicles come out here drive in this lane in there and they are in the middle so they can go out so this is this is the one i want and i want only this so all the others need to be closed for the u-turns now what happens if they go there this is wrong again because i shouldn't be using that one so i close everything that starts with that connector this is wrong again because i shouldn't be using that i should go out there so this seems to be the right one so i leave that and i undo the other so this one so as you can see the lane markings here from this link you can only turn left so i want vehicles to use this one so this is wrong again that is wrong this is wrong again because i have this one so I have an extra connector here, so you can see you can clearly move people out. So that's good. This is wrong again because that connector shouldn't be used. This is wrong again, wrong, wrong. This is wrong again because I shouldn't be using that connector. So this is the right one. So you come out here, you turn right from that lane, but then you change the lane to the curved side one and then you go out. So I keep that. And then I keep closing the other. So this one is, is good. Um, again, it depends. So if you have... If you allow left turns or if the roundabout allows left turn from made from this lane, you can actually make this lane, so that, yeah, this one an overlapping one like that. And then this way, it will be like that. But since it is not like that, um, I just put it back as it was for the example. I just recreate the edge again okay so that is good this is not so i close it and now i am back here so that is fine because from this lane you basically get into this middle one so that can take you out i leave that this is fine this is not fine because i should go out there this is not good as well not good so this can be fine because from here you can come into this lane you still drive in this lane so you need to drive in that connector and then you will come out so i allow it This one is very similar, but as you can see, it's the double lane. So I want to force vehicle to change lanes before that. 
so they are not going to drive in this lane and then they try to get in later. To go right, I don't like this one because yeah, they need to use that connector. Let's just see what kind of other Yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think this is the no, this is closed. Let just let me just double check. Uh so for the U-turn. This is fine for the U-turn. This is not fine for that. This is fine for the right turn. And for the left turn, that is the good one. This is not good. For the straight one, this is fine. And to go straight, this is wrong because I should be using those two. This is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. This is not fine. This is not fine. That is not, not. This is not because um, I should go out. I should use that connector. So this seems okay. So I leave it. Yeah. This is fine. This is not. This is not. This is good. That is good. This is not. So I don't want to go around. This is not because I don't want to use that connector. It's not. Not. Yeah, this looks fine because I force vehicle to use that connector. So I don't want anyone to keep driving here. And the problem is, so you could add a, an emergency, emergency lane change distance longer one for this one. But I prefer to use these extra connectors because if you add the too long emergency lay, emergency one for this one and you want to use that from this one this approach that emergency one might be before the tooling section here and then you get an error and vehicles will just stop and they don't know what to do because they should be already in that lane so you just need to be careful when you use these connectors so the emergency lane emergency lane changing distance um <laughs> should be checked that they don't go beyond uh, beyond these lane changing. So you can't force vehicle to be in a lane when there is no lane there yet. So sometimes it's better to use multiple ones. Okay, so this is, this is, this is good. This is not, this is not because I'm not forcing them to go out on the connector. So yeah. I just close those ones. So for here, this is not good because they are not using that connector. Again, not. So this one looks all right. For U-turn, yeah, that's all right. But in this case, I don't allow U-turn really here. Even in the model, they can do it, but this is part of a corridor, let's say. And if maybe the, if this roundabout is a part of a, a big model, I might want to block U-turn movements completely. So I don't want Vizim to calculate this as a U-turn. Let's say if there is another another access here and vehicle, if they have a long journey, maybe coming from here, they come all the way up and they should turn right to somewhere here, maybe on this link here, if there was an intersection. <laughs> Since this is a very short detour, if this is a long trip, then Vizim would consider that as a possible route. So I want to block uh, U-turns to avoid such situation. So that's why I block all U-turns here, because in, in some cases it is important. So I block everything. Okay, so now the straight movement. 
I want two lanes to go north, so I allow this. To turn right, this is also good because they use that one. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. All of these are not these funny ones. Yeah, that is also, that makes sense. I don't want you turning from the north either. And that's it. I think that's it. All these are the external ones. So let's have a look um, how it works. The model should operate much better. And uh, did we show immediately if I forgot something? Okay, there is still some trouble going on. Let's have a look. It is the um, it is the conflict area, so it causes issues. I also have uh, reduced speed areas in the network. So as you can see, this is the way you can control it. And also uh, this means you need to set up like the emergency lane changing distances for them. So for these, you see I added 35 meters. So they get in lane, get into the lane uh, upstream, much more upstream, not in the last second. So I don't want vehicle to stop here and wait to change lanes. So I hope this example is helpful. Um, I will show you a few more in different situations and circumstances as well. So I hope this makes sense. And just one more thing. So if you see here, you might ask why don't I use two connectors like here everywhere and they will just, you know, if... Uh, they could just choose whichever is better because they wouldn't. So that would be a different path. So you want as less number of paths as possible. Because <laughs> what would happen is if it's congested, that would be even more um, problematic because if it's congested and the vehicle have the path assigned only on one, this one, and let's say they both want to go straight, Okay, this is a bad example. Let me stop and just do two. Let me just do it like this. So the reason you don't want to have two connectors. So the reason you don't want to have it like that, instead of having a double, because this would be, this would create basically a different path. Even if you allow both to use this exit, that will be this will be one path and this will be another path. So you will basically we still need to balance out then these ones. So you would need to run it much more times the model. So and if you have only as a double connector, there will be no need. So then vehicles will be able to choose the left lane if that is less uh, less congested or the right lane if that is less congested. And if you have it like this, it won't be able to uh, do it. It won't be able to balance out during. Uh, simulation run it will be just keep trying a different path in each assignment basically so you you want to have it as a double and if you have a double let's say you put this back as a double like this but you can still have a single connector here if you want to force vehicle for the right turn so you can assign them into this lane much more in advance in this case, since I have this and I can use the 35 meter that goes up here, they will basically stop in this connector uh, before that. But in some cases, you might need to have like a, an overlapping one like this. And when you use connectors like this, it is important to keep them as short as possible. Because again, if it is a congested network, you might have issues with when traffic stops and then vehicles overlapping on each other in the link. And of course, you can use conflict area, but the conflict area works. It's not really reliable, so you can it can cause bugs. You can also add like priority rules, but they can get too complicated. 
yeah, it got deleted when I remove, reduce the number of lanes. So it can get also complicated. So try to keep as simple as possible. Keep the number of paths as low as possible. So use these double connectors when possible, or even three lane connectors. Just here, I again, I need it to basically split the traffic. It will improve the flow much better. Thanks for watching. Discuss uh, any of the any of your questions in the comment, and consider liking, subscribing, as that would help the channel to uh, grow.